this is Pastor Kurt. Welcome to an, a special edition of Unwind Wednesday for the uh, 1st of January. This will be for also uh, next Wednesday, which I believe is the 5th, 6th, whatever, whatever date that Unwind Wednesday is, because I'll be on vacation. Um, we're, a, we're here at New Year's. We celebrate New Year in January, January 1st. Other cultures celebrate New Year's at different times. But I'm going to be walking through a passage from Revelation chapter 21, where heaven and earth, uh, the, the separation between the two, the veil that separates is, is pulled back, and God's reality is earth's reality, and everything is made right. And God says, Behold, I make all things new. That's an important distinction because it's not that God makes all new things. Like God takes everything that was and pitches it, throws it in the bin, and starts over. God takes that which is and renews it. Think about that. And that's what I want you to meditate on today. What needs renewed in you? God doesn't take all of your bad experiences and say, oh, well, pff, that was a mistake and throw it out. God works with you to take those in the words of Paul in Romans and uses all things, pulls them together for good for those who love the Lord. It's not that God caused the stuff. It's that God uses it to make something good. God makes all things new. As we come into this new year, I hope you'll take some time to rest and to be renewed. I hope you'll take some time to take what we've learned in 2020 and, and to hold that tightly to yourself. It hasn't been all bad. There have been many blessings. The brokenness we've walked through has taught us some very important lessons. So please take some time to to see where God has made you new and where God is inviting you to be made new again. To rest in that as we start this new year and, and to become a presence of renewing others so that all of life is made better. That's what we're here for. We are a foretaste of the kingdom of God. Thank you for joining us. I pray that God renews you in your spirit today. You make all things new.
Revelation chapter 21. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Now the dwelling of God is with humanity, and God will live with them. They will be God's people, and God will be with them, and God will be their God. God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. The one seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. And then he said, Write this down. These words are trustworthy and true. We come into this time of meditation, preparing our hearts and minds for a new year. <sighs> it's been quite a year we've had. So take a deep breath. As you imagine the space of your heart and mind in this room of life, let all those things go that you need to release for this moment so that you might receive the goodness of God for the next. We're gonna be focusing tonight on just the fifth, just part of the fifth verse of Revelation 21. Behold, I make all things new. Take a deep breath in. What do you need God to make new? Take a deep breath in. What do you need to release this year so you can receive the newness of God? Hold out your hands. As you breathe in and release out. Imagine releasing all of your burdens into your hands. They feel heavy. And with your next breath, release those to the Lord. Behold, I make all things new. Behold, I make all things new. Which of those burdens 
do you need to see differently now? So you might receive them as a blessing. Behold, I make all things new. be making new in you. As you breathe deeply, try this breath prayer on for side for this day, for this week, for this season. God, renew me today. God, renew me today. God, renew me today. the next several cycles of breath, just pray that over and over. Listen for what God brings to mind. Feel what God brings to sense. And let God renew you in this time, in this space, in this moment. God for renewing us. Thank you for making all things new. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning. It is now and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. And amen. You make all things new. Heaven 
hands and the earth fall away in a moment. I saw the holy city coming down. And I heard the voice of God from the throne declare to us, Behold, I make all things new. And you may are out on the Advent wreath now. Christmas tide is quickly coming to an end and soon we'll be approaching Lent. We, we have about a month or two of what's called ordinary time between Epiphany and Lent. And in this time we're going to be focusing at our church about discipleship, about deepening our faith, I hope that you will take these weeks to renew your faith. Though the lights are out on the Advent candle, the light of Christ is in us. We are the light of the world. As you go this week, I pray that God will renew you, give you oil for your lamp, so that you can keep burning. God bless you. And I pray that God makes all things new in you.